I started playing baseball in 1937. So that was something you did in high school too? Yeah, I played when I was high school. I was, I happened to be a pretty good baseball player and during that time, because we played in Sandlot Baseball on W School Ground in the old athletic park. And I was with the grown men playing baseball. So played baseball with the, we had some real good Negro League, ba Negro baseball players here in Muscovy. About 10 of them went into the Negro League out of Muscovy. Our great star in Muscovy was Lafayette Dumas, called him Fate Dumas, one of the best, one of the, he was rated in the class for Satchel Page and had Henry Williams, a catcher, stayed in Reed's edition. I mean, in on North Third Street, he's rated in the class of George Gibson, Lord Bruce, a pitcher. And just quite a few ball players here in Muscogee was real good. They played in the Negro League. I played baseball with and against Satchel Page, Jackie Robinson, Roy Campanella. I was in the same league they was in. I played with them against them. And when the Kansas City Monarchs would come to Muscogee, I would play with them. And when I got in the league, I played against them. <laughs> Memphis Red Sox, Birmingham Black Barons, Indianapolis Clown, Philadelphia Stars, New York Eagle, New York Black Ink, and New York Cubans, and Atlanta Crackers, and Birmingham Black Barons. I played in the Negro League, and I played Detroit Wolves. Center okay. field, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I, I had about a speed about 10 flat if I was in top condition, may get under 10, may hit every now and then I would hit yeah, 9, 9, but 10 flat was my round 10, 10, 10, and 10, around my 10, I stayed around the 10, but uh, I was a good baseball player for his speed, Good outfielder, knew the game real well. If you knew the game real well back at then, see, it's not like it is now. Now they have minor leagues and training to come up. Well, we didn't have that. If you good, if you was good enough to play on the team, you played. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you didn't play. You had to do something. Else. And so, uh, my, I wasn't a top home run hitter. I didn't hit home run like George Gibson. Mm -hmm. All those big Bullet Brown and all those big home run here, Neil Southern, Dixie, and Oscar Charleston. One of the greatest baseball players ever lived, black or white, was Oscar Charleston. Negro, Oscar Charleston. And great men are like Satchel Page, Joyce Gibson, Monty Irvin, Larry Doby, Willie Wells, Terrence McDuffie, Spelton Snow, Slow Robinson. Dixie, Mule Sutton, just so many good Negro baseball players. And during the time, in, when they took Jackie, in, in 1946, the, the American and National League had an all-star, had a, had a game, and they played in St. Louis. The National League played the American League, and they had an all-star game. There was 32,000, about 30 some odd thousand people there. And the Negroes played in Chicago, Comiskey Park, East and West game, we call it. They had 55,000. And right here in Muscogee, the Muscogee Reds played the Muscogee Giants. The Class C Summer Protein, the Western Association, they had three and 400 people at the game. Mm -hmm. But when the Kansas City Monarchs come to town, the Memphis Red Sox, Indianapolis Clown, Baltimore Elites, Black Barons to come to town, they have three, two and 3,000 people at the game. Now, where did those games used to be held? At Athletic Park, where the Civic Center. Okay. That's where they played the football and the baseball, right where the Civic Center is that spot right now. Now, were there stands there, or did people this just come? It was a grandstand. It was, it, was, it was a nice baseball park, really, really nice and everything. It seats around about 4,000. Mm -hmm. Good baseball playing, good bleachers and everything. And I played baseball against them, go down in Arkansas and play. My name's Porter Reed. 
That's my name. But I wasn't supposed to read and I went to Arkansas. I was a nigger. But it didn't make no difference. I was down there making good money. And uh, we made good money in Arkansas, friends, but we had some hard times. Some days we didn't make nothing. And some days we made good money. But the guys nowadays making millions. Yeah. Millions and millions of dollars. So we left here one day on our way to Canada. And rain, 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 <laughs> rain, all the way up there. And we like to starve to death, eating bologna and crackers, mm -hmm. sleeping on the bus and everything. But life was, you know, but it, 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 it's not rosy. It's, it's, a lot of guys have a hard time baseball. Some have hard time then, some have good times and everything. Well, then I, how were you guys paid when you were playing for the teams? Did you know, you have in a the salary? Negro League, you, 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 you get paid on the thing. But when you're with those, uh, some teams paid you every day. So it depended how much they got. Yeah, how much they got. How many tickets they sold. Yeah, and, and uh, they give you seven dollars a day. Mm -hmm. That's for eating and sleeping. You, the room wouldn't cost you but a dollar, maybe two. Okay. You have five dollars eat on three meals. Mm -hmm. Meals wasn't how you get a, breakfast thirty five cents and a dinner for fifty or forty five cents. So. And you know, back at the end, bread was two loaves for a nickel, and a bottle of uh, milk was a dime or a quart. Mm -hmm. And so, things is different now, everything is high and everything, but uh, I'm in good shape, still in good shape. Speaking of Muskogee, um, what is it about Muskogee? Is it family that keeps you, you know, that's kept you in Muskogee over the years? Well, uh, the, the, uh, the family's the main thing, but uh, it's a fun thing about it. I always did love Muskogee. Now I would go off and play baseball, be gone, or I'd be glad to get back to Muskogee. I did something about it and everything, and I would, I've had some good opportunities at other places, but it wasn't just like Muskogee. He, he, have, have you noticed uh, if you've been around a farm and ride a horse, or work a horse, a mule, have to get to work and feed him and turn it loose in the pasture, how he just started running, just free, just, just, just like his, his I'm just glad. Well, that's what you must go get. Must go, you just, you're free and you just, just, and you're just different. It's free and must go. You don't have to look over your shoulder and look around and everything. If she, I'm telling you, it's a whole lot different than Muskogee and Kansas City and Tulsa and certain places you you got to look over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So, looking back, um, would you have done everything the same way? And no, oh, no, I, I, I would have. I would have improved my life if I had. I had a chance to be real wealthy. Mm -hmm. I did like the product of son, Flounder. I had a chance. To, I, I've had a. I've had my chances mm -hmm. to be really be real wealthy and everything, but I didn't take advantage of it. You know, when you live from day to day, it don't make you. That's bad. Mm -hmm. You putting all your eggs in one basket and all that's bad. But I, I've had my chances. To be. Mm -hmm. So I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Well, what do you What do you want people to remember most about you? Well, I want the people to remember. You say, say I, 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 well, my pass in the baseball. I got a good pass in the baseball, but that that doesn't count. I want them to look at me now. What are you doing now? I'm going to church. I'm teaching Sunday school. I still can walk and get around. You know, still healthy. You know, veteran. I serve my country and everything. And so, I don't want to, you know, praise. Mm -hmm. I don't want it down here. I want it up yonder. I don't want mine down here. I want it up yonder. That's why I want my praise. Mm -hmm.